so there wasn't even a need to um, show my streaming key not that it was a problem now I'll need to remember the name of the program that I'm going to be rewriting in either Python or Rust today so it, it was slow lords yes um, now let me um, reorganize my screen you go there um, yeah this seems fine um, now basically what this software does is it creates a bunch of um, sockets and starts making HTTP requests but uh, never completes them so the web server has to keep the threads open and once it reaches a certain number of threads it just stops responding to other people so you can use this um, technique to basically make websites stop responding and, and the good thing about this is uh, the second you turn off the attack um, the website is responsive again so um, there is no issues with that uh, thank you for um, the stream key now um, I, I haven't decided if I wanted to write this in Python or Rust yet so I guess I'll use but yeah what do, what do you guys think should I use Python or Rust um, let's see let me open Vim um, Rust Python Rust Rust yeah we like a bunch of people want Rust I think it's because it's a new language and people want to see it, but uh, let's go with Rust. I mean, it can't be... Oh, wait, do I even have Rust installed? Oh, that might be a problem, actually. Um, slow... What was it called? Loris. No. Um, I'll need to download Rust. Rust up. Oh, um, I actually, my internet is fast again, so I can download it, I think, in a few minutes. Um, um when loris.python and yeah I can keep this one on the side here slow okay um, so first of all I'm gonna need the socket library and let's start with making a list of sockets list of sockets so to do this I'm gonna need to send HTTP headers but I don't need to craft them with a library since I'm not gonna be using um, it that much I'm just gonna use a few of those handcrafted um, HTTP headers like um, regular headers and they're gonna be like um, the regular stuff such as let's make this lines a bit more generic oh no no no, no. let's just keep it like that um, so user agent and let's um, yeah, let's find the user agent for Firefox. Firefox user agents. Okay, this one will work. And then, what else can we add? Um, let's check the request on Firefox, actually, to see the headers that Firefox sent. Um, hmm. 
so it sends user agents, it sends host. Oh, am I gonna need that? Hmm. Yeah, let's worry about that later. Let's also use accept language. Accept language English US English Q equals zero point five. Yeah, this should be fine for testing. Um Let's also make. Am I gonna use threads or not? Um, yeah, let's not use threads. So, in here, we're gonna create the sockets and we're gonna send the regular headers, and then we're gonna have a while loop here. For S in list of sockets, we are gonna do S dot send and then X A and this. Let's make this um, variable as well. No, let's just do that. So um, I'm gonna fill this header with random data, so let's import random as well. Um, and we're basically gonna sleep for a not so long, but not so short time. So maybe time dot sleep fifteen. Let's also import time as well. Um, so since we're gonna get the input from uh, the command line arguments, let's import system as well. And let's get the variables. Um, IP equals um, system.arguments and get the first one. And should we get port? I don't think that's necessary right now. So, create the sockets. Hmm. For underscore in socket count, let's make that as well. Socket count equals, let's start with a thousand, let's start with 500 actually. Um, by the way, is this gonna affect my stream if I open 500 sockets and not send so much data? List of <laughs> sockets dot pens. Socket dot socket. Oh. No, let's let's generate the sockets. Let's create the socket outside the append so we can connect to stuff. Socket dot socket socket dot af inet and socket dot sock stream. That's for TCP streams. And let's do s dot connect. Um, IP and 80 and let's append this but let's do error handling as well try accept socket dot error as e no let's just leave it at that um, continue or break yeah, breaks probably better. Mm, yes. So right now we've connected to all the sockets. Let's send all the regular headers. For S in list of 
sockets. I'm gonna do s dot send. Um, get random data here and let's use HTTP 1.1 random dot random integer between 0 and 2000 and we do for s in regular headers I also need um, the Windows new line. Then let's no not S um, header in, and then let's do oops S dot send send the header and the Windows new line. So this should work. Um, let's get rid of that. So we're gonna send headers and wait 15 seconds and send more headers until we are oh until the connection drops. Then we're gonna have to reinitiate the sockets somehow or not. I'm not sure. Um, let's try it without doing that and see how much the attack can last um, yeah is this done actually let's well how would I test it without affecting my connection test on, on where my website seems like a good idea so I'm, I'm not sure um, there's probably a lot of things to add but um, as far as I've understood from Wikipedia, this is all there is to that attack, but um, I think I need to recreate some of the sockets as they get closed from timeouts. Um, yeah, this looks too simple. It can't be that simple, can it? Yeah, let's test it to be sure. Um, test it on where? Of course, my IP. Ping. Yeah, if this works, please don't do this on my website because that is not a nice thing to do. Um, yes, exactly. That's what I've been thinking. Also, Facebook. So let me create this. Oh, great. <laughs> I forgot range, I think. Where is it? There. range. Did I forget that anywhere else? No. Okay, I'm gonna test. Let's take this tab out of here, resize it, and I'm gonna try accessing my website. Um, yes, I'm using Python 3. Uh, yeah, more debug statements would be nice actually. Um, oh, the website not working. Well, let me test it on my tablet. But is the stream affected by this test? Not affected. No stream is fine. Um, and my website is not working. That's great. That's amazing. Um, wait, I need to test this on my phone. Um, can you guys access the website? It's gkbrk.com. You can't? Wait, wait, wait. Um, can you try it again? Oh, this is so good. C can you try it again? I turned off the attack. Oh, oh, isn't this the greatest attack ever? Like, look at the amount of code it takes, and I just shut down my website, even though it probably has a crappy server, like, costs five bucks from DigitalOcean. It's, it's amazing, yeah, I agree. 
Now, um, let's add debug statements and see if the sockets get closed and um, restart them, if so. Um, bring watch people code down. Really? Is that a problem? Actually, I'm not sure. Are you serious? Um, also, is it um, the only IP? Is, is it the only thing in that IP? Like, are you sharing that? Yeah, can you check? Oh, how can you check? Um, yeah, yeah, just ping it and use the IP on Firefox and see if Watch People Code appears. Yeah, yes, Python is really cool. Um, what was I doing? Yes, adding debug statements. Um, let's make our own debugging library kind of thing with little code. Um, it, I don't know. I think it's DigitalOcean, so it should handle. I I don't know. You you really need to, yeah. You really need to ask Alex. Yeah, probably around the hundreds. Death log level. Oh, then let's give it a log level one, and then text level equals one. And then, if log level is bigger than level, oh, so that stuff they teach us at schools that involves numbers really works. Interesting. Um, print um, text. So now we have. Um, logging support, which looks kind of crappy, it doesn't even log to a file, but it will work. So let's do log creating sockets, and then also let's log attacking this IP with that much sockets. Um, it's wait, IP socket counts, and then um, setting the sockets up. Setting up sockets. And let's do this then. Log sending keep alive headers. And let's give this a level of one. No. Yeah, um, send, send header with let's give this a level of two and let's make this two. Um, have you tested um, the watch people code IP thing? Ping watch people code. I always try to tap complete websites and GitHub repos. This is the IP. And is it only hosting watch people code? It's not. Um, no. 400 better request. Maybe. No, I can't. I don't think I can. Oh, wait. I might be able to. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, did it say Engine X? Because I heard that Engine X actually um, is not vulnerable to this attack. So we should try another website. 
Um, oh wait, I know. Um, can you send me the IP to the tests? Um, what was it? Search engine? Yeah. Um, I think it uses G Unicorn. So I haven't tested this on G Unicorn. The my website that it brought down just uses something called paste server written in Python. So I don't know how this attack compares to real world situations but it's freaking cool that it even brought down my website with this amount of code like just remove the log statements you don't need them just I don't know 30 lines of code and you can bring the website down um, so yeah right now I'm gonna try attacking a few more websites now let me actually read that, see if I'm missing anything. So I'm sort of never, never completing the requests. Yeah, I should fix that thing with stream issues. How? What? What, what issues? Bit rates 900 kilobytes, fluctuating a lot. Um, fix now. No issues. Okay. Um, so, have you found the IP? Or can you guys think of other websites that might be vulnerable? Let's see, I can... Um, nothing comes to mind actually. Um, I don't know if it's a website. Yeah! <laughs> um, I have my friend's website, but... I wouldn't... Yeah, he actually did this attack on me with the original Slow Loris script. Oops. What is that? Mm, absence of... Yeah. Whoa. No. Is it now? Oh, yes, it is. Um... Let's try that, actually. Um... Okay, one, two, three. Creating suck. Oh wait, it always gets stuck creating the sockets. Maybe. Oh, this. Mm. Well, well, the attack works. Maybe five hundred is too much. Can we access it now? We can't. Great. <laughs> There is a bug though. I, I I don't know what it is. Uh, but but the code still works at least. Maybe. Maybe um, yeah. What is the bug though? Mm, timeouts. Let's try that. Um, because I won't be able to hold the attack for that long if the server keeps disconnecting me so let's do s dot set timeout is it back by the way the website um, five is five a good timeout let's make it nine um, let's check it again yeah it's back so let's try this again It's still stuck at creating sockets. It works for some reason. Set time. Is set time not working? Um, you get five. Yeah. Uh, uh oh. I do not know what's wrong. But it, it works for some reason. I don't know why. Uh. Hmm, that's very interesting. Maybe the log level changes. Oh no, I know what's wrong. Oh, wait, is it? 
maybe it's the like log level log, log level greater than level maybe it's supposed to be reversed um, yes it's supposed to be if level no this is correct log level bigger than level um yeah let's try doing it for each socket um log creating socket number that socket number maybe it just takes too long to get to um, socket 500 SSL support for watch people code or the yeah it gets stuck after a while but the weird issue is oh it's not timeouting that's the reason wait so the server is obviously kicking some of the sockets out it got stuck what the stream or the website or or what? The stream. No, no, sockets. It got stuck. What got stuck? You mean the server got stuck? Hmm. Now they're sort of unstuck. Um, this is gonna be too long to wait actually let's make this 200 and and let's make this um, timeout four seconds let's actually make it 100 see if it, it can still bring it down I just want to test the header sending function instead of making sockets stuck because that's the real part of the um, attack. Okay, these sockets get created pretty fast. Um, done. String does not support the buffer interface. Well, let's turn it into bytes then also this bytes also this bytes as well and oh also I realized I forgot the windows align ending here Try end mapping the server to see what ports are open. It does not matter because um, this attack can only use HTTP ports. So since 90%, probably more of the servers use the port 80, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Let's try it again. It should stop at 100 and keep the attack running for a while. String arguments without an encoding. Uh oh. Let's encode it then. Wait. If I encode it, doesn't it become a string? No, no, no. It becomes more bytes? Wait. Oh, I know what's going on. Undo. No. Undo. 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 And now let's add this back. And then let's do dot and code. I'm trying to get it from this state of creating circuits into the main phase of the attack. Yes, it's being recorded. 
and I will try to upload it to YouTube with my um, sucky internet. W. Oh, you're recording to right. Uh, so what, what? What was I gonna do? Encode. Yes. Encode it with UTF-8. Maybe. Is this a good idea? UTF-8. Um, let's hope this works. Okay, it's creating all the sockets again, and then it's gonna become... No, it's gonna go to the next phase of the attack and keep those sockets open. What the fuck is wrong with you now? Oh, sorry about that. I forgot to do this correctly. You go there, you go out. Okay, please work now. Uh, sorry about not what regular headers. Oh come on! Why I just miss the Rust compiler sometimes. It just tells you everything, like you're sharing this memory. You forgot this variable. Did you mean this variable? It's very helpful. Okay, please work now, please. Yeah, work. No, 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 no. Why not? I forgot to encode you. Ah, oh, great, great. No, what did I do? Undo, insert, encode, UTF-8. Uh, oh yeah, um, Linux, yes. No, 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 what? What did you get? Oh, come on now. Level 2. Uh, let's make this level 2 as well. Um, level equals 2. Yeah, I'm gonna need to go in a few minutes, maybe 11.20 or something, since I have a school and two exams tomorrow. But let me finish this first. Creating sockets. No, 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 no. No, the log statement is not working. Um, bigger, greater than or equal to. Is it this way or the other? Um, good luck with your exams. Thank you very much. Okay, it worked. Come on, now work, please. Will you work? Yes, you will. Yes, you will. No. Uh, I, I gotta stop myself from getting bored. Where is this random random? Oh, there you are. One and five thousand. Because we're good like that. Oops, my earbuds are falling. Um, let's test it again. And if it works, good. If it doesn't, I'm gonna have to fix that and sleep later. And it's actually a pretty good incentive to code correctly. You have no encode as well. Uh, right. Yes, 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 yes. I know how to fix this one. Get creative bugs. Come on, you have to work now. I debug you a lot. Send header. Oh. Uh oh. Is it working? Can 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 you please check the website? Oh, oh it's working. It's working alright. Now this send header thing is getting annoying, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Whoa, what did I do?
Uh, sorry, I had to turn off the attack, but um, yes, slow loris is working. And if it works with the sending keep alive headers, yeah, it sets up the socket, so it should have sent this data, and it also sends this data to all sockets every 15 seconds, so it should keep working. Yeah, it sends other keep alive headers. So yeah, mm, right now this code should work, should keep working indefinitely unless the server has some sort of time off for requests. And if it does, I will add um, a mechanism that checks the sockets in this loop here. And if they are closed, it will reset up them like here, recreate, reconnect to the server and add that to the list of sockets and keep going so broken pipe yep that's it that's what I was worried about uh, hmm, what now right now I'm gonna do try is broken socket socket but error hopefully so um, accept socket error a what do you mean? B. C? Let's actually make this creating and setting up sockets into a function. No. No. Then I can separate them. Then let's make it. Um, for. No. Okay, I got it. S equals um, socket dot socket socket dot af inet socket dot soc stream. Uh, what if an exception happens inside an accept? What happens then? Um, S dot connect. IP and AT. Let's put it inside another try get. Um, I'm gonna try catch. Try accept. Yeah, accept socket. Error. Also, let's add timeout. S dot set timeout. Num four. Then connect. And then I'm gonna do. If no, just when a socket error happens, we're gonna continue. Also, we're gonna remove the socket from there. Yes, yes, let's do that first. Um, list of sockets. Let's remove S and then. What? Continue. That's all. Yes. S dot send. I'm just gonna copy and paste here. So. Uh, visual mode. Copy that. Let's paste it here. No, here. Um, kind of worked. Okay. So would would this work? Um, there's a socket error. It removes that socket, creates a new one. If there's an error, it continues the loop. If there is no error, it sets the socket up, sends these headers, and continues the loop. I see no problems there. Let's test it again. OK, 
okay creating all sockets and yeah now it's set them up and it's sending the keep alive packets you don't don't you create sockets twice where Where do I create them twice? I honestly can't see where. Oh, you mean here in the try accept part? Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, the other one I think crashed on three two keep alive headers so let's wait until there's one more yeah it's not crashing okay now this is mostly done I don't think there are any more bugs if there are they should be easy to fix the code can be a bit prettier maybe the code duplication and socket creation I might make a function for that but other than that it looks fine to me it even has logging man like it has log levels and stuff And yeah, it, yep, it's not crashed yet. So this should um, pull, put down, no, put down is for living things. This should bring down um, the servers that use threading, and this this includes um, Apache, Apache 2 and 3, I think, also GUnicorn, and other things like paste server and bottle.py's internal server, flasks development server um, actually it's my name with the um, letters room, yes so yeah I, I need to go to sleep right now so I turned off the attack um, oh yes my first name, it's Gökberg um, not everyone can pronounce that. Alex somehow does. I still don't know how he does it. Um, but yeah. Um, the scroll bar on this side. You mean watch people code. Uh, now I'm gonna upload the code to either GitHub or Gist, but not today. I can't do it now. But tomorrow I'll post it on IRC and when I upload this to YouTube, I will put it on the description as well. And by the way, um, Alex, after we upload this video to YouTube, um, if I post the video link to watch people code, can it uh, can it show up on the website? Can you send a screenshot? I can send the program if you want. Uh, oh no, people will see my Gmail. Well, it's already on my CV, which is on gkbrk.com. So, if you have job offers, I'll, I'll take them. Um, what was I going to send? Yes, the program. Um, this codes. And where is it? Uh, slow lowers. Okay, okay, I sent it, it's yours. Um, anyway, I gotta go. I'll try to stream on the weekend or Friday, that's tomorrow. Um, also, my exams are over so I can stream more regularly. So yeah, bye, see you everyone. Uh, do I just stop this and it works? Yeah, okay.